certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Welcome back, everyone. Almost 515 on this Wednesday morning. I've got good news. I bring good news to you. A warm up. We just got to deal with the wind, unfortunately. Still definitely December out there, so this is unseasonably warm for this time of the year. And you can see that tower cam not moving too much there in Branson. What we're going to see winds really pick up this afternoon. Look at the temperatures, though. You know, we warmed close to 40 degrees yesterday. I don't know if you were able to get out and enjoy it. My husband and I went on a cold walk. It was brisk, so we walked really fast. Today, it's actually going to be in the 50s, so I think it'll be a good time if you can fight the wind. 34 degrees in Springfield currently. Most everyone sitting in the mid 30s, so we're above freezing. We could drop a degree or two right before uh, sunrise, but all in all, it is a fairly mild start for this time of the year. Here's what it feels like out there, though. 23 because of that wind chill. You're going to have to figure the winds into things at least early this morning by this afternoon. It's not going to be so much of an issue. So wind speeds right now strongest out to our west 28 miles sustained winds in Joplin 18 mile per hour sustained winds in Springfield and then about seven in West Plains. So a little less out to our east and because of that that wind advisory is in effect for most of our western counties. I think like Shannon and Oregon counties left out to our far eastern parts of the Ozarks, maybe Izzard County in um, Arkansas. So you get the idea that it's going to be very windy and you can see kind of a mix of clouds on that satellite and radar. We will see some cloud coverage today, but I think we'll see plenty of sun too. It'll look very nice out there. I do expect winds to pick up a little bit this afternoon and overnight. I think we could see wind gusts even higher, maybe 45, possibly even 50 miles per hour near that Joplin area. Forecasted wind gust for today. We are expecting extremely windy conditions. You can see it's just a little bit less out to our east. So places like Eminence, Alton, West Plains, Ash Flat, like those places, not quite as windy, but still very windy. It will be much more so for our western counties. Temperature wise, though, it's going to help warm us up. Mid 50s, usually if we have to get to the mid 50s this time of the year or into the 60s, we'll have to deal with that wind. Overnight temperatures, well, right around 50 degrees. That's unseasonably warm. I do want to talk about the chance for rain the next couple of days. Our best bet of seeing rain is going to be on Monday. However, late Thursday into Friday, models are kind of confusing me on this one. I'm not going to lie. I think there's a chance that we're going to see some rain overnight out to our east and to our south. You can see on this model, this is at 9 p.m. Some of the stronger storms firing up in the eastern part of our viewing area. That is something that we're going to have to watch closely. The Storm Prediction Center has us just on the outskirts of any chance for severe weather. Here's what we've got for your New Year's Eve. I think it's going to be dry and I think it's going to be mild for this time of the year, mid 40s. Uh, as that ball drops, it's going to be a warm day before and after. So that's nice. Quick look at that seven day forecast, though. We are looking at temperatures in the 50s, if not 60s for a few days on here. Just got to deal with the windy conditions for the next couple. Jesse. All right, Natalie, thanks. A couple of 60s on there, including tomorrow. So uh, 